Uh, so Jason, we've come to farm here to continue our series on slurry storage options. Um, and again, we're looking at a, a type of tower here. Uh, could you explain what we're looking at? Yeah, this is uh, the net silo. Uh, it's a, a new product here, which uh, we've introduced uh, recently here to, uh, I suppose to Ireland uh, as a, a temporary type storage. Um, they've been on the go, I suppose, for 25 years in, in Holland. Uh, so they have, but uh, it's a great idea here for a satellite type store uh, with the, the serious rise in price in fertilizer and diesel. People are looking to avail of what they have and, 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 uh, and the winter, I suppose, they can, they can store it up there and have it for when they need it. Right. Uh, it's, I suppose it's easier, easier shifting it then when they have more time there at the, at the out farm and whenever they need it. Um, the, the beauty about this is that th there's no concrete required. Um, it can be installed reasonably quick in two to three days. Um, the farmer has to dig out uh, a level site and put down some sand. And then what, uh, what we're doing then, we're coming in and, uh, and forming, forming that and building it and putting the liner into it. Now we do, as you can see, further around there, there's a discharge station for emptying it and, uh, and bringing, it, uh, bringing it out to hook up your umbilical system or your tanker. And it's easily filled over the top, as uh, these men can easily easily work here with the, the boom tankers. Okay, so the farm it's on here, it's uh, it's probably different uh, different farm in a sense. It's an AD plant here, is it? it it's an AD plant, and uh, who owns the farm here? Who is operating here? Th this is uh, the Boggs family, Gartel Farm Contracting, and really, I suppose with their AD plant, they've quite a large amount of land there, which they have satellite tanks required for drawing the digestate out there uh, to that to have it for. and to give you an idea maybe just on price um, I suppose as against a, a conventional concrete store or steel store it's coming in there somewhere about 40 percent cheaper than, than anything else okay you know, for that, so. yeah and it's a, uh, I suppose it has a larger capacity obviously than the bag as well which we saw yeah, yesterday. A larger capacity of the bag the the maximum size that we can do in this is 275,000 gallons and the, and the smallest, the, the diameter, the smallest, you're down there to about 50, 60,000 gallons. Okay. So yeah. it can cater for most size of blocks of land there, which which farmers are operating. So uh, the main, the main, I suppose uh, issue, uh, I suppose, uh, is the siting of it. Uh, it's very important where the where the farmer puts it, so they can they can try and have it in the middle of his block of land for pumping there. So it is. Okay. Yeah. And say, in terms of planning, is there is it the same planning requirements or? Yeah, yeah, you'd have the same, the same. Uh, now there may, there may, there may be something because it's a temporary type storage. There may be some leeway in that. Yeah. So and if it, it it really suits someone who's maybe in a lease agreement or rented land, whereas if they did have to, if their lease ran out, you know this can be taken down in a day, and uh, and moved right. then to so you can. Okay. So I'm, I'm right saying there's no concrete base? No concrete base required. It's effectively one liner then, is it one complete yeah. unit so, inside? So what we have here in these steel sections when they're bolted together, here there's a HDPE liner on the inside which is put down first, which you can see here which uh, sits against the steel to protect so then the actual liners on the inside of that. And we're working with the nickel flex liner which we use for lagoon liners which is a, is a very well reinforced uh, product there with great UV protection in it as well. So okay, and the steel itself is that supported into the ground or anything yeah. like that? No, or how what, what that sits. Out? What we have a small concrete pads which we set at the bottom of every connection. Okay. Here and there's steel rods which connects everything threaded bar. Okay. Which is, goes right around top and bottom. Okay. And that's what gives. That's what takes the pressure. Okay. So this uh, th this uh, uh, net silo has just been er just been erected. So there's still uh, still a bit of backfilling to come around. Uh, the bottom 12 inches of the uh, net silo is, is buried into the ground. So this is what this skirt here is for around the bottom, so to protect uh, all the metal work in there at, at the bottom, which gives it the strength. And say in terms of filling it in, I think there's two options to fill it, is there? Yeah, yeah, you can fill with the, the, the overhead tanker. Such as this one here? Yeah. Or we can fit uh, a, a fill pipe as well there to it, just to connect up if someone's pumping across there from a yard there to it if it is if it is reasonably close to. Okay. 
And agitating wise then? Agitating, uh, what, uh, what can be done there very simply, we supply a jetter system which can be mounted on the, uh, the front of your JCB or your tractor and loader to connect up so you're mixing it with a circulation system. So if you're putting on your, your umbilical pump, you're, you're sucking out of the discharge station and blowing back in through the jetter. Okay. At least you have back the movement overhead. Then. Back and overhead, okay. so you have the movement then right. to, to get it way. circulating. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And say in terms of ordering then timelines. T in terms of ordering, you're probably talking four to six weeks. Yeah. Uh, on that, and uh, depending on the time of year, it can be uh, it can be quicker, but it's, it's at least that. Okay. Thank you.